Hello there, this is Michael or Gallifreyan Avenger, however you want to refer to me. But I am here today to speak about Captain America Civil War. And yeah, this is going to be spoiler free. I promise that I will stray away from spoilers as much as possible. No promises because you can't really discuss about this film without talking about major plot points. Because my god, so many stuff happens here. This was an incredible film. This really was a really great way to start Marvel Phase 3. And I'll just start by saying the first two Captain America films I thought were great. Captain America The First Avenger, it was a very good film, um, you know, set in the 1940s. And, you know, it was about Steve Rogers or Captain America taking down Hydra. And the Red Skull, played by Hugo Weaving, that was a hilarious look for him. And Captain America, the Winter Soldier, my God, that blew me away even more. Which, you know, nobody thought that Captain America, you know, as part of the Avengers was that fantastic. Or, oh, he's just a guy with a shield, he's a superhuman, experimented on. Let him do his own thing. My God, that blew people away the winter soldier and you know as time went on people were thinking how are they going to top that well my friends they have topped it and i mean this film i mean obviously the the marketing the promotion of it the trailers and you know people giving the hashtags of you know hashtag team iron man hashtag team cap because obviously um captain america is conflicted in this sort of dilemma that the Avengers, the superheroes, now their powers have to be kept at a limit. They can't independently be going out and trying to save the world, basically, because there is collateral damage. There have been casualties. And Iron Man, or Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr., he comes to his sense well comes to his senses is a pretty broad phrase but he sort of sees from the other perspective literally by one person he only has to speak to one person to know that oh god what am i doing here he speaks to one person and that gives him an existential crisis sort of but anyway this film captain america's civil war the amount of supporting cast in it is incredible i mean obviously you have chris evans as captain america robert downey jr as iron man scarlett johansson as black widow elizabeth olsen as scarlet witch paul bettany as vision paul rudd as ant-man don cheadle as war machine uh who am i missing um what's his name uh, anthony mackie as falcon Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier. Um, the, the, the. There's a lot of supporting cast. And feel free to berate me in the comments if I've missed someone out. But obviously the newest addition is Tom Holland as Spider-Man. And my God, the casting. Like, Tom Holland is perfect as Spider-Man. And I'm just going to say this now. Spider-Man's appearance in Captain America Civil War tops the entirety of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I cannot be any more serious about that. He, Tom Holland as Spider-Man is just brilliant. And I'm really looking forward to the new Spider-Man film contributing to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's going to be great. But that's a slight tangent. Obviously, Captain America Civil War deals with two sides of the of the Avengers group having conflicting points of view about their current state as superheroes, whether they should be able to use their powers independently or whether they need to be kept in check. So the views of Team Captain America, Team Cap, or Team Iron Man. And also there's a... Well, not really a side plot. An A story and a B story. This is a Captain America film after all, but it honestly does feel like an Avengers film. 
just because of the massive cast behind it. But everybody has eyes on the Winter Soldier because of another outbreak, another sort of terrorist attack caused by, um, supposedly caused by the Winter Soldier. I'm not going to give anything away, but everybody keeps going after Bucky or the Winter Soldier and Steve Rogers or Captain America doesn't think he's evil because obviously he's brainwashed and there is this I don't know Russian mer- he's not a mercenary this Russian spy who has captured these trigger words I guess that's what you call them trigger words that brainwash the Winter Soldier into doing whoever's bidding as it were and yeah so I mean obviously you know Bucky is brainwashed to do these things and different members of the Avengers have different points of view about this scenario and ultimately it results in a massive fight between the two opposing teams in an airport and obviously most of you will have seen the trailers and that is one of the climaxes anyway there's another climax with Captain America, Iron Man and Bucky and that's another story. I won't delve too much into it because it does touch upon spoilers but it was really like sort of the reveals behind it were shocking I guess you'd call it but I mean this film while serious it has a great sense of humour. I mean obviously the Marvel Universe they do love their little quips and their little jokes and I mean, every character gets their little moment, so that's great. Of course, they need X amount of time to accommodate every single character in this story. And for the most part, they do reasonably well. You never think, oh, they could have delved into that character more. Or, oh, she didn't get too much screen time. Or, you know, I wanted to know more about him. At the end of the day, it's a Captain America film, but every character gets as much development as you would have liked anyway so yeah I don't know my opinion of this film I thought it was great I mean I'm I'm not just fanboying out or anything obviously I look at these things from a critical perspective and I mean there were a bunch of funny lines and funny scenes that you know everyone in the uh, screening were laughing at but yeah i mean this film my god this film is great and it just like as with every film in the marvel cinematic universe they give little teasers in the post credit scenes leaving you wanting more it's such a uh, i mean it, it's such a calculated mindset for these executives at marvel to have knowing that oh yeah we have we know we have more of these films to come and we're gonna tease the viewers letting them want more so they'll come back to our next film this film <laughs> I, I don't know i i love this film i'm just gonna say that i love this film i i mean what else what else do i say i can't d- delve upon spoilers because I mean, obviously, we're before the May 6th mark. So in certain parts of the planet, you haven't seen it. You haven't seen the film yet. But they have done brilliantly. The Russo brothers were spectacular directing this film. I mean, obviously, they directed Captain America The Winter Soldier. And now they have signed on to direct The Avengers Infinity Wars Part 1 and 2. So... Obviously, that's another thing to get excited about. It's always the superhero films. Why is it always the superhero films, Star Wars, or any franchise that is in need of a reboot? People go mad about already established franchises. It's crazy. What a... (laughs) This is why it's so unfair for independent filmmakers. I mean, they have this... I mean... Marvel and all these other companies, they have this 
gold mine of source material. It, it's not fair. But as I said, Captain America Civil War, brilliant film. Absolutely loved it. Go see it. Such a good film. And I'm not overhyped. Obviously this film was hyped to death. But it was worth it. It really was. I mean, the acting, the directing, the practical and special effects, everything about this film, and the locations as well. This film was shot over a multitude of locations. Like, between Nigeria, between Berlin, to London, to Siberia. So worth the hype. And as I said, this is a spoiler free review, but go see this film. I did. I loved it. Obviously, there are some nitpicks here and there. I haven't quite fleshed out what my nitpicks are because I, had, oh, I have only seen the film recently. So I am a little biased. Maybe on a second viewing, I will be a little more critical, but. As it stands now, Captain America Civil War is a brilliant film and it deserves all the praise. Captain America Civil War gets five out of five stars from me. So that is my review slash ramble, I guess, on Captain America Civil War. And this has been Michael or Gallifreyan Avenger. Once again, and until next time, see you soon and thank you for watching and feel free to leave a like or comment and um, if you'd like to subscribe, feel free and go see Captain America. You'll love it. Thank you for watching and see you again.